Okay, let me... Okay. Um, so, I just tried to film this, and then my phone ran out of space. So, it's great. <laughs> um, so, this video is not the same as kind of all the other videos that I've done. Um, I, I got some new makeup, and I kind of want to talk about it, and I got some Jeffree Star makeup. I got the Alien palette, and I got his um, nude lip collection. And then I also started getting Ipsy bags. Ipsy? Ipsy bags. And um, so far, I've only gotten November and December. So I kind of want to talk about that. And then I kind of want to do my makeup before I go to work. That's a video, right? Um, for <laughs> so for November, I got this bag. And I don't know if you get, like, does everybody get the same thing or is it different for everybody? I don't know, but we don't know what it is. It's a makeup subscription and you get like five pieces of makeup every month. And then you have the option to like add on like these ones are only $1. These ones are only $3 or whatever. And I think it's like $10 a month or something. So in November, I got this blue bag with black hearts on it and it has pink inside um and for the november bag i this one i got i paid extra for this huda beauty lip strobe which i've actually been using kind of a lot um it just like makes your lipstick real shiny and then i also got this just like this eyeshadow brush um I don't really know anything about makeup <laughs> which when you sign up for um ipsy you can there have like options of like like what do you want or like do you want to learn about new makeup or whatever whatever and then i also got this lipstick color from smashbox i have to like cover my face because it wants to look at my face don't look at my face oh my god don't look at my face there we go um, and this is like a, it's like a dark, um, like a dark, like a burnt orange, like a really burnt orange brownie color. I feel like I would probably wear that a little bit, maybe a lot of it. And then I also got this translucent powder by, it's the same, I also got a lip by this same brand and I don't know how to say it it's like Ciate or Ciate or I don't really know it's a, just like a translucent powder that's on the ground and um I also got this primer that I've been using a lot by Juice Beauty and then I want to pick up I want to pick up that powder that I dropped on the ground but it's like really far away come on want it to be right here and then I also got this uh, liquid highlighter by the bomb <laughs> which is really funny the bomb the dogs are being loud in the living room and this liquid highlighter like a little bit goes a really long way like if I just put like like that much right there it's like really really pigmented really bright and you can like really get it all around you can kind of see it but it's like a gold it's like a gold highlighter and that was all that I got in the November bag so it's like sample size things but enough that you would be if you like oh I actually like this then you could actually buy it or whatever and then in the December bag I got this like gold sequins bag I'm not too crazy about sequins but it's not that ugly <laughs> and then it's black on the back and it says ipsy right there and then it has a like a tassel zipper and it's pink on the inside which these work really well for like if you did your whole makeup and you wanted to bring like your lipstick and your foundation or whatever to like touch up your makeup throughout the night it's like perfect size for that or just like stuff that you use all the time and then I got this Farrah eyeshadow brush it's the Farrah 35e brush I'm a makeup guru 
um, which I haven't even used yet. I haven't even taken it out of the packaging, but it's like a little eyeshadow brush, which is actually really hard to take out because I don't want to mess up the, there we go. And it's gold and it's cute. And I also got this sweet potato pigment lip tint, which is really just kind of like a, it's kind of like a lip balm, honestly. And there's like really little to no product in here. It's like mostly air. Um, and it's very lightly pigmented. So it's not like a lip color. It's like clear pretty much. And it kind of smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, which is not, I thought it was going to smell like sweet potatoes. And it doesn't. Um, and then I also got this. A uh, lip color from that same brand that I don't know how to say and this one is more of like a dark purple color you can see it next to the orange one don't look at my face camera there we go so the the first one is the orange one and the next one is more of like the dark purpley color it's like a little bit shimmery but not too crazy and then I got another lip strobe which is so weird because I before I got ipsy I've never even heard of that I knew there was like lip toppers to make stuff shiny but I don't know I just had never really used them before it's shiny white color um and now I have two I guess whatever and then I got another this one is like this is just like a loose powder by Steve Laurent, which this is just like a cute little thing. And this powder is like, it's like a, like a brown color. I haven't even like opened it yet, honestly. Oh my God. It's, it's going to go everywhere. Ew. So this color, oh my gosh, that is like all out city. I mean, obviously, because it's a loose powder, but <laughs> I, like, put the container down and it, like, puffed all over the place. I'm trying to get this sticky thing, like, just off of me and it won't. So this color is, like, find a place for it. It's, like, a dark brown that's kind of shimmery. You could use that as, like, a highlighter, especially on, like, darker skin tones or honestly you could use it as anything because it's a loose powder but you could use it for like eyeshadow or whatever you want I guess and that was all that I got in the December bag which I think for $20 that's like a pretty it's a pretty good deal you know for all of these I can't even like hold all of them for like all of these items two brushes two powders, two lip strobes, two lip colors, a highlighter, and a lip balm. I feel like that's pretty good for $20. And I know it's all like really small stuff, but it's also stuff that I don't know if I want a really big like product of it. I don't know that I really need it. Um, but I really like the colors, the lip colors that I got. Those are like colors that I usually pick. So I thought that was cool. And then the lip strobes are actually really cute. But that was the Ipsy stuff that I got. And then I kind of want to show the Alien palette. But I kind of want to dedicate a whole video to the Alien palette. But maybe we can talk about it. Um, it's really big. As everybody knows already. Anybody that knows anything that knows anything. Um, it's huge and I have only used it like once so far so it looks totally untouched except for some of these fingerprints and then this mirror is like huge oh hi Spotify it's huge and the colors are super pigmented super high quality and I would probably say that I'm like the kind of person that doesn't know anything about makeup which is kind of why I wanted to review it because I feel like a lot of people that are going to buy it probably don't know a lot about makeup and they might just be like 
a Jeffree Star fan or they might just be like, wow, these colors are crazy. Like I want to play with it or whatever. So I kind of wanted to um, review it from like that kind of viewpoint because there are a lot of people reviewing it that are like makeup artists and they like understand how packed pigments work and they like understand the difference between pigments and shadows and like all the stuff that I like know what it means but I don't really know what it means you know um oh I so I had to restart recording because my phone memory is so low which is really annoying so what was I saying oh there's a lot of people reviewing them these uh new palettes coming out James Charles and um Jeffree Star and they're coming from like a makeup artist standpoint and I don't know anything about makeup so I feel like maybe it's more of like a consumer review I don't know whatever but all of the colors are really crazy if anybody has seen it yet um like these crazy like the dark blue or the turquoise color here and like probe is like super crazy um, I haven't used it very much, but what I have used is like phone home is kind of like a, like a brown, like a, it's like a mauve like taupe color. And they're really pigmented. They're also like really buildable and blendable. So you can put like a little bit if you want or a lot of it if you want. Um, some of my favorite colors though, like. UFO is super weird. Like that, it's just like a gold, like shimmery color. Is like really cute. I use that like on like the middle of my lid and stuff like that. And then Flying Saucer is like that really weird, like green color, which is like really interesting. Just like a really interesting color. And I feel like I would use that as like a blending color, but, um, a lot of people, I feel like were worried that because the colors are so weird that it can't be like an everyday palette. Like a lot of people are worried about buying it because they think they're not going to use these colors every day because there's such weird colors. Um, but I think that there's enough colors on here that can be everyday colors that it's worth buying like a gray or like a black or even ghost OG is like a dark gray color which can be used as like uh in between colors and like blending and like inner corner and or not inner corner sorry crease um and then stuff like uh gravity phone home even martian soil is like a mustard yellowy color stuff like that and x-files too these are all like really neutral colors so i mean there's like one two three four colors that are like neutral like you could wear them every day and then stuff like interstellar ufo like like really shimmery gold silvery colors those can be used as like accent colors or like in the middle of your lid like even though it's like kind of crazy and like kind of sparkly or whatever if you just use a little bit it can still be like an everyday palette that one is moon rock and space cowboy is the brown one like the brown space cowboy can be used for like a smoky eye or like any my phone is killing me right now and moon rock is like a really pretty gold color which you can use for like anything and then after that there's really like the only really weird colors are like alien flying saucer area 51 and even probe is like not that weird probe is like really uh a lot of color layers in there and then these are really like the only super weird colors which even area 51 the really purpley one is not that bad for being like a weird color i feel like i could still incorporate it into my makeup pretty often so even though it's like a really crazy palette I feel like it's still practical um and the quality is really good and I do think it's like worth the price and you get so much product in here 
and the mirror is huge <laughs> and I just think it's like definitely worth it and then I also got his um nudes lip thing where you get a bunch of nudes it says open here for nudes and you get a bunch of different colors and I do think that there's definitely some colors here that I probably won't wear like rose matter is really really pinky um but the first four are very like taupey like light brown colors that I would probably wear more and the last four are like pink purpley colors androgyny is actually my favorite it's like dark enough for me because I like really dark um like mauve burgundy colors. I'm terrible at this. Come on. Come on. There you go. So stuff like that is definitely like my go-to um, for colors. So I'm really glad that that was in there. And then everything else is like just like nudes, um, which his lip colors are really high quality. And the... Um, the size is pretty decent for how many you get and the price and it's really good because you will also get colors that you like might not have tried or might not have bought like the entire actual single size um, and then you get to try them all and then you find one that you're like actually I do like that one so um, I'm gonna have to figure out my phone for a second and then I'll do a bunch of swatches okay so annoying which I'm still probably gonna have to so stupid whatever um but i showed you androgyny um leo is also really good a little bit less on there leo is also like a really dark color like a dark brown color um i do think that he has a really wide variety of nudes which is really good because a lot of times when you get a nude lipstick it ends up just being pink which is not what i like this one is Gemini, right next to Leo, is a little bit pinkier, but still dark. Um, I like dark nudes, which end up not even being nudes. Like, the closest nude to my actual lip color would probably actually be the lightest one, which is Skin Tight, which is, like, ends up being super pink, which would end up being, like, the color of my lips, and it would actually be a nude lip, but... It's just so pink. I feel like it makes my skin look really pale. And then I feel like I don't, I wouldn't actually want to wear it. And then like right above um, skin tight, I put mannequin. And even that one is just like a little bit darker. I feel like I would prefer that one. Um, which wouldn't look as pinky. I probably do like mannequin the most. And me and my mom both got it. And we're just going to trade <laughs> ones that we don't like for ones that we do like. But I think they're all pretty much really um, cute. Um, Posh Spice is kind of, is really interesting. It has kind of like a green undertone to it. It's like a dark brown. And it just like, next to all of the pinks, it just looks kind of like a dark green color. Kind of like an army green is really interesting that one is really cute too honestly there's really only like two that i probably wouldn't wear um because they're really pink would probably be rose matter and skin tight i already showed you skin tight but rose matter is like a pink like a pink pink super pink which i kind of just don't really wear pink i guess i guess that's just me i don't really wear pink but if someone liked pink, it's a really pretty pink. I just, whenever I put it on, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. But, um, I mean, that's all the makeup that I was going to show. I also got this. <laughs> this one is actually kind of silly. I got this um, eyeshadow palette from Target. And they had a bunch of different ones. There was one called... There's one called Confidence, and then there's one called, like, Courage or something like that. There's, like, a bunch of different ones. And this one was Confidence, and it has, like, a bunch of, like, glittery stuff and metallic things and, like, 
uh, like nude things and it comes with this little brush um, which is so weird because I saw it, it was really cheap and I saw it and I was like oh I feel like these are probably not gonna be that good and there's only like a couple of colors in here that I really want and I actually ended up using it so much and the colors are actually like not that bad they're like really pigmented and the shimmery ones are like really shimmery and they're super buildable and like super blendable and it's just really interesting that I ended up liking it so much there's some like purples and like pinks in here too that I don't know if I would use but there's definitely like enough colors in here that I was like yeah I'm gonna buy this which is so weird but I felt like it was worth mentioning I don't know really interesting um but yeah confidence by profusion cosmetics that I saw at Target I don't know I mean, that's all I have to say about that um but yeah I guess that's the makeup I wanted to show I don't know if I should do a separate video of me doing my makeup but I'm probably also gonna do my makeup so there's that um but I guess if I don't decide to put them in the same video that was all my makeup and that I guess not all my makeup I have a bunch more makeup but um that's all my newest makeup I guess and then I'm probably gonna do another ipsy video I feel like because there's only five products in it I should probably do like January February together I don't know I haven't really decided I also haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with this channel because I kind of want to do a little bit of everything and so far it's like ASMR videos but I also want to do like video game let's plays and I also want to do like makeup reviews and I don't want like four different YouTube channels and there's I don't know so there's that thanks for watching if you did I don't know I don't know I don't know